Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the curriculum that I chose for my rising 5th grader and 10th grader for this coming school year. Um, we are still in the middle of our last quarter of 4th and ninth grade, but I am prepared. I got all my books. I actually meant to post this video earlier this week, but when I was editing what I recorded already, I just didn't like it and I wanted to redo it for y'all because it just, it wasn't what I wanted. So, we're doing this again. <laughs> this is not a flip through. If you go back and look at my playlist, I have flip throughs and then I have curriculum reveals. This is a curriculum reveal where I'm just going to go over and show you what we picked, you know, what the books are, what the names, what subjects we're doing, um, who the books are by, no detailed look at any of the books. If you want to see details of the books, um, each one individually, I will be doing those in the coming weeks so that you can get a look at what the books look like on the inside and what your student will be doing like day to day. Um, but this is just going to be an overview. I have got, like I say, 10th grade and 5th grade stuff here and it's all different. We've got several different curriculums here, um, different companies or publishers, I mean. And I'm also going to be sharing with you the prices. I don't think a lot of people do that. I know the, the prices are going to be different. You know, I'm not giving you the exact price and telling you this is what the price is going to be. But I want to give you a ballpark. Um, because I like when I'm watching videos about curriculum to know what the price range is. Because if it's something I'm really getting into and I really think it's like something we could really use and I'm, I'm loving it. And then I go look at the website and it costs like three times the amount of what I normally spend on that subject. Then I'm like, oh man, I wish I wouldn't have got my hopes up. So I'm going to give you a ballpark of what the um, price was. I got a lot of this stuff on sale. Everything except for one book came from christianbook.com. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that that is a company that I like to order from. And this year, everything except for one book came from christianbook.com. The other one came off of Amazon. All right. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to do fifth grade first and then I will do ninth grade. I'll put a I may put a timestamp, show you where the ninth grade stuff starts, um, but probably about halfway if you want to just scroll ahead to the ninth grade if you're interested in that. So we do the core subjects, math, English, history, science. Um, we always do a Bible and then my high schooler has electives um, and my fifth grader is going to have like an elective kind of this year too. Just something a little bit extra we wanted to do. I don't have anything to show you for math because we are still doing teaching textbooks. Um, you can go to teachingtextbooks.com. That is an online math program that they do. We've been doing it for several years. Um, my fourth grader, this is her second year doing it because it starts in third grade. I think I'm right on that. <laughs> um, we've been doing this homeschool thing for a couple years now. We started in 2020 when they came home for that two week break. Um, and then we just never sent them back. So we've been doing this for a few years now. Um, we are, and then also really quick before I get totally into this, we uh, do independent learning with our kids. So um, even my fourth grader currently, she does all her work on her own. I'd say 95% of it. The other times it's, you know, me checking it when I get home from work or my husband looking at it during the day. Um, and then, you know, me doing like the overall yearly grade stuff, I do that. And then there may be like projects, science projects, especially that they have to have help with. But I'd say about 95% of their work they do on their own. We buy curriculum that is meant for that, where they read the instructions, the lessons. They do their own quizzes and tests. They even grade their own stuff. Of course, I, I look over it. I don't let them just run wild with it and not have any idea what they're getting, you know, what their grades are or anything. I do keep an eye on that. Um, but totally independent work. You can make curriculum work for how you want to do it, but this curriculum that we pick works very well for independent learning. Um, and also we use a Christian curriculum. Um, that's what we choose for our family. Exception is the one book I got, got off of Amazon. It is kind of a secular, I guess what you would call it, book, but everything else is a Christian publishers. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to jump into it. For my fifth grader, like I said, teaching textbooks, for math, um, she will be doing the fifth grade level this coming year. And then for English, I am going to be doing, or we, she is going to be doing, um, the paces from ACE again. This is, if you're not familiar with it, they come with what they call paces. It's 12 little booklets. These are 39 pages each. Um, you get, like I say, 12 books, and then you get the set of what they call score keys, and this is just answers. There's not like a teacher book or anything. All the instruction is in the book. I won't do a detail um, thing until I do a flip through video. Um, but they, they finish these 12 books within the year and that is it. They're done with the course and they check their own work. So that is ACE English fifth grade level. And then let me show you the other ACE that we got. This is her Bible. It is the exact same thing. I hadn't even took it out of the wrapper yet. She's got 12 paces. 
to finish for that Bible. And it's just a general Bible. There's not like a specific thing. I think it, I think they, I have to, I have to open it up and look at it, but I think they pretty well just like go through the Bible and pick out different topics, you know, Genesis three revelation. Um, and each one has, if you're not familiar with it, I will show you a little bit. Each one has a, a Bible verse that they have to learn and then has like character traits and it's just, you know, good Christian character things that they have to learn. Um, so that's one of the things I like about it. But with the Bible course, um, it's just a general Bible stories and facts and things like that. So that's for Bible. Um, and then we are going to move on. This will be the first time that she is doing master books, I believe, in any subject. And this is what we have for history. This is by Master Books. Um, it's about the Revolutionary War. She's going to be learning about specific people, like their stories throughout the war. This book is called The Fight for Freedom, and this is Biographies of the Revolution. I think Biographies of the Revolution was the name of it on the website. Um, but this is for the 4th through 6th grade level, and this is all it comes with. This is the book that she's going to read out of, and this is the book that she does the work out of. Um, there's a little uh, projects that you do at the end of each chapter. The tests are in here, quizzes, daily lessons, everything that you do is in here. The answers are in here. I don't, I'm used to, um, we've been doing knot grass history. We're not doing that this year, but I'm used to her having knot grass and having books to go along with it. So I will probably get some books put together for her to read to go along with this. I mean, she's going to be reading a lot in this book as it is, but I may pick one of these figures. It's, it's going through, like I said, uh, biographies of the revolution. So if it's not going to tell me specifically books for her to read to go along with it, I'm probably going to pick a couple. Um, like it starts with like George Washington. So I may pick up a, a biography about George Washington. So that's that for history. And then for science, she was excited about this and I didn't even know this was new. This is, this is Apologia Zoology 2. So I didn't realize how I went back looking on their website or I got an email or something that this was new this year. So this is a fairly new um, book, Zoology 2. I got the notebooking journal and then the, um, the regular textbook. This is a hardback book. This is the spiral bound journal. And this is all about, it says swimming creatures of the fifth day. That is Apologia. This looks really nice. <laughs> she, I let her pick this. Um, I wasn't really sure what we wanted to do for science this year, but I do like to let them kind of have an, uh, uh, kind of have a choice of what they get to do. This is a really nice book. It reminds me of the knotgrass books, not as thick. <laughs> um, but this is what she's doing for science. She's going to learn all about marine, um, ocean life and all that. And you don't have to get, I don't believe you have to get the notebooking journal. Y'all, I forgot to give you the prices. I've got them wrote down. I'll go back and give you the prices for the stuff I've already shown. I'm so sorry. And I'll, I'm going to put it back on the screen when I'm showing it. All right. So you buy this separately, notebooking journal and the textbook. Let me go ahead and give you this one. I can't believe I did that. And I've got the list right here in front of me. All right. So for, I don't remember which one was which. One of them is 20, was $27. The other one was $39. And I got this stuff on sale. Don't quote me on those prices exactly. I had um, some discounts. I also had a coupon uh, code for free shipping. Um, so you may not get the exact price and it may not be on sale anymore. I got, I think I got all of this when it was on sale at one time. I ordered it separately, like three different orders and when they were on sale. Um, so one was about 27, the other one was about 39, but it may be a little bit more now if they're not on sale. The uh, history was about $45, again, on sale. And then those paces, I believe they're the same price. Her Bible, you, you buy those separately because you, if you have students like if you have students you know stair step somebody coming up and doing the same one you don't have to buy the score keys again you just have to buy the the paces so the paces for bible was about forty dollars and then the answer keys was about 14 and then it looks like yep same thing for english about forty dollars for the pack of paces and then 13 ish 14 ish dollars for um the score keys the answer keys sorry about that all right what else was i missing all right so that was her core things and the teaching textbooks. I think the fifth grade level is about $65 um, for the year and you get 12 months access to that. They have 12 months to complete the course. Okay, and then that covers math, English, science, history, Bible. And then this is her sixth subject that we're doing. This is health. 
Living Healthy. I got this also. This is Master Books. Um, again, off of ChristianBook.com. Um, we just wanted something a little extra for her to do. She had been doing like a second language sometimes, but we, I'm, I'm not pushing for that this coming year. I really want her to work through this. Um, I just think it's a, she's at a good point in life. <laughs> she is going into, let's see, she's nine. She'll be 10 this year, this school year. She turns 10 right at the, close to the beginning of the school year. So she's that working her way into that tween, preteen age. So I think this has got a lot of information that'll um, be helpful in those coming years, um, being health conscious. So this is, you know, from, it's not just food, it's about health and exercise and food and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. So we'll work through that. Um, and that is all for my fifth grader. Now I'm gonna move on to my ninth grader and I'll be sure to give you the prices as I'm going through. Um, we have a very strict budget. So if you're see, saying that these, thinking these prices are crazy, that there's, <laughs> that how is it that low? I dig, I find, I try to get the cheapest things that we can get that is still stuff that we like and good quality. Um, and this is all uh, publishers that I have used before. We have used Masterbooks, Apology, uh, ACE, all, all of this. We've used all of this before, so I don't have a problem with any of this. I think it's going to be great. And the Masterbooks, my ninth grader, I'll show you. Let me go ahead and show you what she picked um, for her history and for her science. She is using Masterbooks this year for history, and we started to do a literature, but we kind of had to back out on that. But she really likes the master books history, so she wanted to do that again. Where did it go? So she's doing this year. She's doing world history, um, and then she chose she wanted master books again. So we're doing American history uh, for her history credit for next year, and it is master books because she really liked it. Um, she's used to the setup. She knows exactly how the lessons are laid out and all that. So she chose to go with the master books American history for next year, and this cost about $60 for the set. You get this together. Um, this is the book that they she reads out of, and this is just like the fifth grader one that I showed you. This is the one where the daily lessons, things that you write down, um, quizzes, the answers, all that are in there. So that is what we got for history. Um, back to the math. She will be starting. She's a little behind um, on math. I'm not going to go into that story, but she will at some point in her 10th grade year next year start uh, geometry with teaching textbooks. That's what they do in 10th grade. And I think that cost about $75. Don't quote me. I cannot remember, but I think it's about $75. And again, you get a 12 month access to that course to finish it within 12 months. Um, so she'll start that sometime next year. She's finishing algebra one this year. And then English, same as my fifth grader. She is doing the Paces with ACE. Um, that is Accelerated Christian Education School of Tomorrow, if you're not familiar with that. It's the exact same thing. Um, she's got 12 Paces to finish. Um, I didn't, and I didn't show you this at the, with the fifth grader one, but their tests are in the middle of the book. So you have to go through here and pull out the tests out of each one. This is English, uh, what they call for high school. This is English two is how they have it listed. There's the test that you just pull out of the middle. Um, English 2, ACE, the price on this was about the same, I believe. Let's see, a little bit more, 42-ish dollars for the set of paces and then about $14 for the score key. Um, it's exactly the same. You got the score key, you got the paces, and when they finish all these, they're done. And I like it. There's some subjects I don't want to do with ACE, but English and Bible, I'm, I'm great with. So, same thing for Bible. And this will be an elective for her. We choose to do Bible every year. I like them having some sort of Bible education. Um, and we actually did this backwards. If you look on the ACE website, you'll see that ninth grade is a uh, New Testament survey. Is that right? Yeah. You'll see that ninth grade is New Testament survey or a study of the New Testament of the Bible. Um, and then 10th grade is Old Testament. But I got that mixed up. She's doing Old Testament this year, and she'll do New Testament next year. So she's doing that a little bit backwards, but I don't think it really matters. So that's what she is doing for Bible, and that, I believe it cost about the same, about $44 for the paces, and then $14, $15 for the answer key on those. And the prices were a little bit different because I ordered them at different times. <laughs> okay, we got math, English, Bible, I showed you history. This science, I think, is going to be pretty cool. And this was several books. This was the most expensive. Science, when you get to the high school years, I think science is one of the most expensive subjects that you can get. 
All right, she picked master books again, and I'll let her have the choice. I was trying to, and I may do a video about my ninth grade, or about my high schooler and what I'm doing as far as her um, credits for her transcript and all that. I was kind of had an idea of that I was going to make her do classes to go along with North Carolina, um, like public school. I didn't want her to have to do it, like exactly copy it. Um, what they're supposed to graduate with because North Carolina really doesn't actually have a set standard. I mean, public school has their standard of what they say that kids have to have. But according to North Carolina, there is no set subjects that you have to do, no set amount of credits that you have to have in order to get a diploma. It's pretty slack on the rules, um, but I do want her to have a good looking transcript if she decides that she wants to go to college, whether two year, four year or whatever. Um, I want her transcript to show that she has worked hard and she's done, you know, different subjects and had a variety of things. Um, so instead of what the normal high school would be doing, you know, high school or North Carolina public school would be doing, I let her choose astronomy. So she is doing astronomy for her 10th grade science credit and it come with all of this. <laughs> And we've got two DVDs, we've got four books. One of them is the teacher book, and then we've got two hardback, three hardback, they're all hardback books, but one of them's smaller. So here's the teacher book, and it's the same as the other master books that I've showed you. This is what she will do her daily lessons and quizzes and tests in, and it's got the answers. And then we've got these three hardback books um, that she is going to be doing, The Stargazer's Guide to the Night Sky. And all this came together. I didn't piece this together. It was like one set. Um, our created our created moon, and then taking back astronomy, created cosmos DVD, and our created moon DVD. And this was Master Books. If I didn't say that, that was Master Books. And that whole set was about a hundred dollars, I do believe. Yep, it was about a hundred dollars for that, and it come all together. I didn't have to piece that together. I think that's going to be fun for her. And that was one that she chose. I let her choose that one. Um, so that covers the core subjects for us and then we are going to do she's kind of been doing a second language a little bit this year but not enough for me to count it as a credit so we are buckling down on her second language we are going to do spanish this is the one book that i got off of amazon and it was twenty dollars i believe yeah it was about twenty dollars um i'll put a link to it this is not something i was familiar with i was just doing my searching on amazon and looking at reviews and all that so along with this, and this says it's for homeschool or classroom um, for middle or high school students, learn Spanish vocabulary, grammar, and more. And from what it looked like, it looks like she's going to be getting good, um, like, uh, conversational Spanish with this. So this, along with Duolingo on her, you know, an app that she uses, we're going to have a set amount of time. She's going to finish this book, plus she's going to have a set of, either a set amount of time or a set amount of lessons on the app that she's going to do every day. Um, for me to count that as a credit, and we're going to do that as one full credit um, for Spanish 1 for this year, and then we'll do Spanish 2 the next year. So, and I, if she flies through this book and I feel like she's doing really good, I'll probably get another book to supplement it to make sure that she gets what should be considered for one credit, you know, the amount of work for that. So, that's going to be Spanish, and the Duolingo app, it's free. We uh, download it on Google Play Store. Uh, let's see. And then her other elective, this is going to be a half elective. This is also ACE. This is PACES. We've got, I think I've got some score keys mixed in here. Um, but this is a half credit, so she's only got six. Oh, yep, that's a score key. She's got another score key somewhere. Oh, that was it. Okay, so she's got six PACES to do here. That's a half credit. Normally it's 12. So she's going to do six of these music paces. She is in the choir at our church, um, and she enjoys singing. She enjoys trying to learn things on the piano. She can pick stuff up. I can. I, I tried when I was younger. I can't play the piano. Um, but this looks like a pretty comprehensive, you know, kind of a music history and like reading sheet music um, and understanding different things about scale and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so she's going to get a half credit for completing these books. And she does stuff on her own. She just tonight had me. Uh, she's got uh, she's got limits on her tablet and her phone of how long she can spend on different apps. And she had already spent, I think, like an hour or two, the maxed out her her limit on her YouTube today because she was watching tutorials on how to play certain things on the piano. And she was in there trying to play a song, <laughs> and she wanted me to extend her limit on her phone or on her tablet. So because she's 
she uses her tablet to prop up on our piano that we have and then watches it and does lessons on her own. But she's just doing that on her own on a Friday night. <laughs> so that kind of extra stuff that she does along with this, and we're going to count that as a half credit. So that was it. That half credit uh, price on that, the half credit, six books was about $20 for the books and then about $7 for the score keys. And that is it got it all done <laughs> and that didn't take long at all so that was my fifth grader and my tenth grader and that is everything that yeah that is everything they're going to be doing next year if I throw anything extra in there for them to do or like the different books for them to read or anything I'll do some updates along the way as the year goes through um, to let y'all know what we've added but that is it if you have any questions please let me know and I will be happy to answer those in the comment. If you've made it this far in the video, if you would, give it a like if it was helpful. And subscribe if you are watching this or you've watched several of my videos and you haven't subscribed. Because I know a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help me to grow my channel. That would be very much appreciated. Alright, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.